The idea was to make a kayak that was faster than its predecessor. One way was to make a longer water length, but still have the same length as the old one. And I also like this, this style much more than the traditional kayak. I want a more sporty looking kayak. And the deep bow. Oh, yes, it's good storage. And uh, it's also getting a very dry ride. So the cockpit is actually quite wide at the front. Can you explain the reasoning behind that? I want it um, a rather wide um, cockpit so you can have space to work with your legs and, and have a good power stroke. And uh, at the same time, there is thigh braces so you can get the support when edging the, the kayak. So you can keep your knees together for a a powerful forward stroke as in racing, but also if you put, spread your knees you can grip the thigh braces. It's quite a long kayak, but it's actually remarkably maneuverable and very stable. I have put a lot of volume at the edges of, of, the, of the hull shape, so when you are uh, tilting it, um, the, the stern and the, uh, the bow is, is raised out, out of the water and it and the kayak is turning very quick. It makes it very fun to, to play with. And I was surprised how stable it is. Yes. When it, you're paddling, it's, you don't feel at all nervous in it. No, it's once one of the main goals when I did this, for speed and, and stability. And you also have a, an open cockpit version of this, um, a ski version. Well, these two kayaks are basically the same. So the main difference is that you're sitting on yours and I'm sitting in mine. What's the advantage of having one that's um, a sit in, or it's sit on top rather than one that's sitting in? If you fall in, uh, the cockpit could be full of water and then you can just start paddling. And... As soon as you start moving forward, the, the water flow over the self baler will suck the water out from there and that will be completely dry. Yes. And it's also easy to get onto. <laughs> Whereas if, if you come out of this and go swimming, I have to get it to the shore and empty it out. Yes. And it'll hold quite a lot of water. With the XP Spider, you still have all the, the same cargo space, really, that, that the XP 18 has. You have a day hatch just behind. Here, yes. Which you can access if you need it. Exactly the same as the uh, normal XP 18. OK, so a great racing, racy looking, um, but maneuverable and stable touring kayak. <laughs>